It's October, which means it's the month of Halloween, one of my favorite holidays. So Matt, Nick, and I have decided, you know what? Let's sit down and talk about some Halloween-y or some scary stuff. So guys, we said, let's just sit down and talk about maybe our top three most scary video games of all time. Most scary, best horror Favorite you know, something like time. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah something, something like, like that. Like, I, <laughs> I, I, we feel we didn't dress up either for the occasion. We, I, no. I, I, like, this was have, last minute, to be this honest. This was last minute we came. But all month, I mean, maybe we'll be doing some maybe scary theme stuff outside of, like, the regular three-on-three stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, I you know, I say we kick this thing right off. Um, how about Nick? Nick, what do you give us your first uh, super scary game? And All right. maybe we'll we'll put together some clips so you can see them too. And then there might be some games in here you hadn't heard of and go back and yep. get in the mood for Halloween. Uh, I want to start with the recent one though, uh, since since I'm going first. It's that's Resident Evil Village, mm, which is the newest the, one. Yes, the newest one. It's also the scariest one. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of like common jump scares and stuff that you find in Resident Evil games, but there is one level. That is the absolute scariest Resident Evil level ever made. Now, without spoiling it, is, you know, and just to kind of get, is that the basement? Is that the basement section? Mm, Maybe no. not. No, it's a different, it's a different manner. Different manner. I, I see. Okay. Well, I don't know what the, I've never, I haven't played through that game, so I don't know what you're referencing but that's mm. cool to hear because see now since I didn't play all of Village and I'd only played maybe the first couple hours, um, I thought that the Resident Evil before that was the scariest and just the house and the setting and Resident Evil seven, uh, I think is what it was, right? That's just that that one was one for me. It's that's not on my top three, but it definitely made it like a runner up. Like those the new first person Resident Evil games, I think, are kind of in a yes, you know, this new they slower like cycle or whatever, yeah. Yeah. It, have you played either of the new ones, Marty? I, I have not. Uh okay. It was funny. So when Resident Evil Village came out, it was kind of getting mixed reviews. And I had talked to people that weren't that crazy about it. And then, like, later on, the more people I talked to, no, it says it was really good. So I probably need to get it on some system or something like that and try it out sometime. Yeah, I think it's on sale quite often. And it's pretty short. I don't think it's very long, right? It's like 20, 20 hours, yeah. And oh, well, that's, I mean, a, that's that's still a pretty good length. Uh, but I thought it was even shorter if you do that. a bunch of stuff. Yeah, you can probably beat it in, like, 10 to 15 that's where i heard i heard that you could probably go through a sub 10 hours like but there's a lot of extra stuff that you can take 10, your 10 hours is probably rushing it though like oh, okay it's an interesting now also you know i don't know now they did both of that both of them in vr have you tried any of them in vr or village mm. might not be in vr yet but i know that seven is and that's like another level of like no really like it, was, it was scary enough it was scary enough like <laughs> and then another level i know what they did for um for Resident Evil 7 was they came out with scented candles <laughs> and the candles smelled like the house oh. that was like that you were like so yeah like Did just this, being like moldy and gross yeah like totally like, look this those? up this is a real thing <laughs> like you could get these Resident Evil scented candles play it in VR and you could be as in that house as you possibly could and and yeah that was that's that's another level but um all right next up marty what do you got all right well you know what since we kicked it off with resident evil let's just go with resident evil so i'm just gonna go with the classic resident evil 4 mm. 4 um, okay yeah played on the gamecube and it's been out on several systems then but i i actually that was the first resident evil i ever played because i didn't have a playstation uh so i didn't play any in the first one so that was the first one i experienced and Re really enjoyed it, and I am really excited to revisit it when they do the uh, new version, the remastered, coming out next year. Yeah, me was too. Was the one where Chris punched a boulder? Was that five? No, probably five. So five and six is where they went kind of like crazy went out, went with action. Yeah. But yeah. four is where they started to, I think, like, the four is iconic. I think, you know, some regard as the best one, you know, and I'm excited to see that remake as well. Yeah. Um, but with the Resident Evil games, and I feel like this with kind of all of them outside of maybe the newer ones is like they get to a point where they just be they don't become scary anymore. Mm -hmm. You just you have enough weapons. You know, the threat you're running right. around shooting. You have enough ammo to like right. do what you need to um, unless you're playing the first Resident Evil where you never had enough ammo. But, <laughs> yeah, you, but that, was yeah, part yeah. The, that was part of the scariness, right? You're, oh, yeah. You, and you, you know, zombies are around the corner and you have like two shots left, right? Yeah. Yeah. And sticking on Resident Evil for one more second, I'll do another runner up. Like, but the, again, it's not one of mine just because it, it's only a part and it's the Resident Evil remake. Um, it's the shark tank scene. And I don't know mm. if you guys remember this, but in Resident Evil remake, you walk through this one door 
and the water is up to your feet and you're in this big like tank kind of thing and there's a platform that you have to walk like a plank like a wooden plank that goes in the, like all the way across it and there is like a great white shark that is like swimming around and this was for the gamecube i believe it was one of the scariest like little moments because walking you didn't want to get eaten you would get eaten and you had to figure out how to not get eaten but regardless like you'd walk across this the the shark thing in resident evil is one of the scariest scenes i think on on the resident evil topic still <laughs> so what's your uh one of your three well we might as well stick continue to stick with uh capcom um and uh wait i might be getting this wrong not capcom i'm going silent hill is that konami yeah it's konami. Silent it's konami, konami yeah konami yeah sorry i almost got that mixed up um yeah, the first the first Silent Hill uh, mm. for PlayStation One. So Silent Hill, it, it's and this is kind of like a time and place kind of thing. Like I don't know if I went and played Silent Hill One uh, today if it would still scare me, but I remember playing Silent Hill One when it first came out, and the fog that like mm. the, the the fog they used in the game was brilliant because one they couldn't really they didn't have a draw distance right like they, they sure. couldn't really they had to put fog down, but your the static on your radio would go whenever you were close to something. And I remember that scaring the crap out of me. So Silent Hill, just the first one for PS1, was one of the scariest games I played. Moment of silence for PT, right? Yeah. Might also be on my list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. All right. No, it's all good. I mean, and no, it's it, it's cool. Uh, I mean, PT is terrifying, and we'll get back. We'll go. We'll come back around to PT. But yeah, mm-hmm. Silent Hill um, is is on my list. It's probably number three. Yeah. Nick. All right, so I went with a very new game. Uh, now I'm going to go with a very old one, and this will definitely show my age. I think you guys might remember it, but it's the very original Alone in the Dark. Um, yeah, I, where, I, I remember I, it. I never – did I play it? I can't even remember if I did or not. I, exactly. The, I definitely played it, but, man, I can't remember. Like, it's the it scared first me. time I remember a jump scare in a video yeah. game. Like, mm. it's a haunted mansion. You're trapped inside. You can't get out. Like, there's this eldritch thing, like – keeping you inside if you try to go out the door it just like eats you uh so you're stuck inside and there's like one of the very first scenes you're walking down this hallway and you you realize things are going wrong and there's like demon dog jumps at the door and it's like five pixels right it's like a bunch of blobby polygons because it's such an old game but at the time like i jumped out of my chair like it was Mm. so scary at that time that was my very first jump scare in a video alone in the dark yeah Mm. and then they rebooted it too and that wasn't like i don't know if that Mm, one was very scary i think it was more of an action kind of thing but uh Alone in the Dark that hasn't come out in a long time either, man. Like, yeah, wouldn't so be surprised. That's, that's my old school. That's my old school callback. Cool. I don't know if this would be considered a, a horror one, but my next one because it, it kind of bothered me, and that's uh, the first Bioshock. Mm, yes. No, that, that was, was that. That definitely has yeah. some creepy stuff because, especially at atmosphere wise, like With the big really brother got... and the little sisters. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh yeah, that big brother stalking you the whole time. Yeah, totally that, valid, Marty. Yeah. So I I I remember. I was just trying to think of games that I played that was just really eerie to me and stuck with me. And Bioshock 1 was one of those. Yeah. I haven't played that game since it came out, but I still remember the plot like really vividly. Mm-hmm. I'll That's how never, great of a game it was. Honestly, I think the plane crash at the beginning and you waking up in the ocean is like one of the most iconic scenes. Like, especially for the time, I remember that water looking so good. Mm-hmm. And like you just being like, Oh, I'm playing. Like I'm I'm not in like a yep. and then you swimming up to I can remember that so vividly and then getting into the place, taking the elevator down for the first time, and then just being like really wrapped up in that story, I thought. Yeah, the twist it, in that game is one of the best mm-hmm. in all video games. It, it's one of the best intros to a video game, along with Last of Us. Last of Us intros yeah, is pretty yeah. iconic, too. Oh, yeah, that um, thing. But, oh, no. but both of those are really good, yeah. All right. I, I'm going to... I'm going to... I guess I'm going to put it number two. I guess I have a bunch of runners up, which I'll, <laughs> I'll come back to. Um, but I guess for number two, I will put... Um, you know what? I think I got to do PT, which which we just mm-hmm. talked about. But yeah. um, to come back around on PT uh, pretty quick because this game is incredibly scary. Like, and first off, it's not a game. I mean, I, I believe everyone knows what PT is, but it was a demo uh, for what was supposed to be a new Silent Hill game or rumored to be a new Silent Hill game from Kojima, um, and it has been taken off of the shop. You can't even download it anymore. Uh, I think if it's on your PlayStation, you can still play it. 
Um, yes. So don't delete it. But if you did delete it, I do not believe you can re-download it. I'm not sure what's going on with it. But it was just a hallway demo where um, a first person where you walked and you were Norman Reedus too, I guess, apparently. Like if you finish that demo, you realize that it pulls back in your Norman Reedus. Uh, but <laughs> but anyway, the um, yeah, the threat that like kind of haunts you in this hallway and just the, the jump scares in this, that was if you played that in the dark with headphones, um, it that that did it. That was scary. And um, yeah. I don't know anyone who wasn't scared by that demo. I, and, I didn't put it on my list because it was such a short experience. But absolutely. Like it was the most terrifying, like 30 minutes or whatever. Of totally. Yeah. And that's that's what I mean. Like it was it was in, it was the scariest, like little tech demo ever yeah. <laughs> it, it's funny i've seen on ebay when uh people sell their old playstations oh, right. and will list if pt is on it and it drives yeah. the value up oh i'm sure and you know honestly if you haven't played it and you can't get it um i you just go to youtube watch uh maybe a playthrough and you'll still get the idea and feel but there's something about guiding your character yourself mm -hmm. through that hallway and like you know that like if you're hearing in your headphones like she's right behind you yeah. And you turn around and she's not there and you turn around. She is there like like scares like that, man. It's my hands are like clammy just thinking about it. Like that yeah. was a scary. That was a scary game. Oh, I mean, the data miners and, and the crackers, they looked at the camera, right? They pulled the camera out. They did. And, and she's always floating behind you. Yeah. So you yeah. always get that pervasive. Oh. So that's why you sometimes hear it. And sometimes you can kind of like catch a glimpse for her because she's literally always floating behind you. Ugh. Like just uh, just out of sight. That's yeah. creepy. Like it's so, I'm creepy. Crammy, it's so creepy. creepy just talking so about creepy. it. All right, Nick, what do you got? All right. Um I'm gonna go with Bloodborne. Um that mm. one's more jump scares, but in terms of like atmosphere and horror and just some of the like situations that the game places you in, mm -hmm. uh it, it like I still remember a, a few scenes in that game very vividly, like the church scene. Yeah, uh, yeah, that, yeah. Again, another one similar to like Bioshock, where the atmosphere is super creepy. Mm -hmm. That game didn't like scare me. Like I wasn't like I didn't turn it off, and it wasn't like keeping me up at night. I thought it was definitely very cool and looked awesome. And there were some unsettling scenes in it. Um, just that dark, gritty. Everything was like wet in that game. <laughs> <laughs> right. you know you just go through that game and just like it's gross and dark and disgusting yeah. and that's i can see that for sure i mean bloodborne's incredible game right and, uh, and the combat added to the tension right oh so sure. the, it was a different kind of scariness sometimes from what it's not just like you know horror pure horror but just like oh i'm gonna die because yeah. uh, i don't have any uh, uh vials left or whatever right <laughs> yeah uh marty got more over there yep so my final one is gonna be um um Eternal Darkness on the game. Mm, good one. Yeah. Uh, Eternal um, Darkness. So I have so many great memories of, of this game. Uh, for those who don't know, this came out on the GameCube. And this was actually my introduction into Lovecraftian type themes. Mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about that. So this idea of these, you know, el other gods and elder gods was all new to me. But for those who don't know, in, in this game, you're playing as multiple people over real far in the past recent past etc but the game does creepy things to you for example you'll be walking along and all of a sudden the controls will change and it's like it won't move or it'll move the opposite direction or there'll be like a crash screen as you're playing like the game just crashed the game does these creepy mind tricks to you as you're playing it's like wait a minute because the whole gist of the game is am i going crazy and so they yeah keep, yeah it, you, it you're like sinking you'll have to like sink into the floor and in fact there's a sanity meter and once right, you start going mechanic, more yeah. insane the more crazy things happen yeah. it was an amazing experience what i what i remember best about it is my wife loved the story and every night she go you're gonna play that game tonight you're gonna play that game so i sit there and play so she can <laughs> yeah, watch so see where the play, story I'm went. That game. no i remember the screen crashed on that and it totally mm. tricked me like i got up <laughs> I, I, I think i opened up my gamecube i was like what's going on right now this is like broken I'm like oh it's the game I, I i remember that vividly that that game did some really cool fourth wall stuff and like kind of brought you out you know, i actually trick, trick uh, you. about two years ago um i wanted a copy of it again i sold it but i want another copy so i went ebay got it for like 30 dollars. that game is now worth 100 bucks yeah wow so I, it's sad that they tried to reboot it too right so looking nice tried to get back to get, get the band back, back did together they, but never I, happened. they didn't do it yeah man i sold all my gamecube stuff like a dummy i know who, who would have thought it's like gamecube sold horribly and now all of a sudden those are the games that are the most expensive <laughs> they should put that is that on the n64 switch thing i don't think so no or no it's a, the n64 it was a gamecube game not a 64 game yeah um, they don't have gamecube games up on that not game. yet nope maybe when it does 
Yeah. yeah. Anyway. It's on the high uh, seas, but that's about it. <laughs> so my next one, I think, is the scariest game that I've ever played. Now, Ooh. I don't mm. know if this one holds the test of time. I haven't played it in a long time. But Amnesia for um, PC is the mm. scariest game I've ever played. Now, um, I haven't played it in a there long are, time. There are two of those, right? There are two Amnesia. of them. And the second yeah. one is just as scary. Uh, it, the second one's a little more gross. Like, this, the second one leads in a little bit more on, like, kind of the, um, I don't know feeling like it's like a saw movie you know where there's like mm-hmm. pigs like man pigs walking around and stuff because i think it's called something like um a feast for pigs or whatever a yeah. feast for pigs yeah and that's and you hear the pig sounds that are like going but ultimately in amnesia it's a first person uh game you have you have amnesia and you're wandering around this house you don't know what's going on but you don't see anything like you don't see your hands you don't have weapons um it is just a first person experience that you're like kind of think like um uh, I can't really think of a game that, you know, it's just you don't have like weapons or anything, but you can interact and open doors and hide in stuff and, and hide in the shadows. But the threat that chases you is this like kind of spirit or whatnot. And it is so scary with headphones and lights off. I just I remember like that game was hard to play at the time um, because I'm like always hiding. And it was you could hear it like you would be in like um ankle deep water or something and you could see the footsteps running around and it's like chasing after you and you're trying not to die um i don't that that has that game scared me the most now um and the second one again scary i don't think i finished the second one but i did play all of the first one and yeah it's it's great i think if you play it now it's still give you some scares but it is a little dated i think it came out in 2010 um, that, so, that one did have VR too. I remember watching some like that. I don't videos. man. I don't think I could do that one in yeah. VR. That people would be, were like, like throwing up their headphones, like screaming. <laughs> like if you, if you search oh, out those man. VR reactions, too. amnesia is something else. And yeah. Uh, yeah, just for like again, how much does a game scare you? That's kind of like where I'm basing my list off of. Mm-hmm. Um, with like Silent Hill, PT, and Amnesia, those ones, those ones creep me out. Yeah, I watched the trailer for it and like, nope, I'm good. <laughs> totally, <laughs> yeah. it's one of those kind of games. Yeah. Uh, Nick, did you have any? Did, I can't remember. Did you have another one? Uh, well, I mean, the, are, runner, we runner, are we on runner ups? Yeah, we'd be runner ups. I've, I've got my, yeah. yeah, my list is done. So, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dead Space would be list. on my runner up list. Yeah. Dead Space is on my runner up. Dead Space, yep. Yeah. Same here. And it's just the first one. Second one went super action heavy. Same with the third one. But yeah. like, the first day, which makes me very excited for the Dead Space remake, um, because I want to see it with like brand new graphics yeah. and everything. Mm-hmm. But Dead Space leaned into that, um, abandoned. Um, you know, space, you know, craft that you're like wandering right. around, and they did really cool stuff with audio and jump scares and like, yeah, that space. Right, and, and the and the weapons in that game were like improvised tools, right? Obviously, in the second game, they were more like weapon, like traditional shooter weapons. But in the first game, it felt like you were like MacGyver trying to cobble together these tools to survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dead Space is super great. No. Yeah, do you have any runner ups, Marty? Nope, I did. Nope. I didn't. I, so, yeah, I've come to find out I didn't play that many scary games over the now, do you just I, not it, like the. Do you, I mean, do you I, not like seek the genre out or just nothing really grabs you for it? I'm, I guess I just never seek the genre out. Yeah. So, I don't, I don't now either. I'm the same. Like, there's a ton of new horror games that I've seen mm-hmm. people like kind of play on viral videos. Oh, and, like, uh, what's that? Phasmophobia is the big one. Phasmophobia. Well, there's, phasmophobia. Another, there's another one that takes no place in a. Um, a mortuary where you're like you you are taking care of dead bodies and you in there's someone like it, that like i've seen scenes from that that are super scary so <laughs> there are really terrifying experiences out there right now that i haven't really seeked out um i had another one other one runner up one i had was um fear and this mm. is um yep. it's uh f dot e dot a dot r fear and it was a first person shooter and this game actually um was super scary because it had some of the best jump scares. Like there was this little girl that was like, you know, would pop up all over the place at the least expect times. Also, it was really, really cool game. You could go in slow motion, I believe is what like the mechanic of that game was. It's been a while since I played fear, but I remember those games scaring me quite a bit too. Do you ever play fear? Mm-mm. Yeah, it was the original PlayStation. I think, right. I played that back in the day. Was it original play, play PS2? I, maybe, maybe PS2. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was past PS1 because the graphics were like, OK, <laughs> <laughs> but I remember being scared by it and stuff. But yeah, I would I'd be interested. Now, listen, if, you, if you're here and you're still watching this, why don't you recommend us? If you've been playing mm. scary games, throw some scary games in the comments. I mean, I'm all up for trying some stuff. Uh, 
if whatever that one if you guys know what that mortuary yeah. game is that uh is supposed to be really good but again i think most of the um really scary stuff lives on pc now i don't yeah. i haven't seen too many outside of resident evil the mainstream uh that and i you know take a look crystal protocol that is actually a, mm-hmm. um a spiritual successor to dead space december 2nd i'm very excited for that yeah, uh but, but that does look really scary so i think they're trying to grasp that same idea you know as the first dead space so i do have uh, one more honorable mention yeah yeah uh, fatal frame series um i don't know so, if you played any of those i was gonna bring that up because there, there was a blind spot there was a version coming out for the switch so was, uh, there's a new one coming out yeah yeah so or i was very just, i was that looks creepy and i thought maybe i'll check one of those out yeah because you, know, you can't really fight in that game you, mm-hmm. you take photographs of them photos right and you know what? Never played them. And I know they're supposed to be really scary, and it is a, scary, it is yeah. totally a blind spot in my catalog. Um, but I feel like I haven't played them. You know, I just I don't like. Do the original ones hold up? Are they still even good and or scary? Should, are there new ones? Are they any good? <laughs> I'm not sure. There's a lot. I, I don't know if I'm going to get the Fatal Frame or not. But well, yeah. like Matt says, hey, you know that's our list right there. Let us know in the comments some of your most scary games, and hey, if we haven't checked them out, maybe we'll go uh, do that sometime. And for the month of October, like I said at the beginning, maybe we'll come up with some other ideas. We gotta do movies, guys. I mean, we yeah. gotta do yeah, movies. scariest movies, best sure. sc- scariest movies, and we'll, we'll kind of go for maybe scariest TV series. I don't know if that even is such a thing or is not. That, but is that a thing? We'll co- <laughs> yeah, we'll come. There's a few now, yeah. I mean, like uh, House on the Hill, stuff like that. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Like series like that. Or oh, that uh, was scary. House well, on yeah, there was one moment in that that I jumped out of my there's seat. A lot of, there's a lot yeah. of moments in it. That was a good show. So I think if we think about it for a little, we might could come up with something. Okay. So, <laughs> anyway, sure. so everybody, thanks for watching. And remember, if you're not uh, subscribed, please do so. Like and share. And uh, we'll see you next time.